I will look at the question of April 2023. Question number one. That is business mathematics and statistics. Highlight for characteristics of a good questionnaire as a tool of collecting primary data. Now you ask yourself, what is this primary data that we are talking of? It is the data that is collected for the first time from the uh, field. Now the characteristics of the primary uh, of a good questionnaire, so I'm just going to list because they say they highlight. It has to be simple. Number one. It has to be simple. Or simplicity. Number two has to be clear. Number three, we talk of uh, objectivity of the type of questions. Of the type of questions. Number three, uh, sorry, number four, uh, it has to be reliable. And then let me just add number five here. It has to be valid. It has to be valid. They just wanted you to state four characteristics. And then body B, in relation to research, explain the following time terms you have number one the probability non probability sampling number b or roman two population and then we have sampling frame let's start with roman one non probability sampling we can say that it's a method of uh, selecting a unit it is a method Of selecting a unit selecting a unit uh, from a population using subjective from a population uh, using a selective Sorry, subjective. Full stop. It does not require, and probability sampling does not require a complete survey frame. Therefore, it makes it to be very fast. Therefore, it is fast to collect. Fast to collect. Then, what of our population? Population, we can say that is an entire group. It is an entire group. About which some information is required to be ascertained. About which some information is required to be ascertained. Required to be. To be ascertained. And then last we have the sampling frame. Sample frame it is a source of material 
or a device from which the sample is taken. It is a source. of material or device from which a sample is to be taken full stop it is it is a list of those population. You can also add that statement. It is a list of those population who can be sampled. Who can be sampled it may include an individual households or institutions any sample that you can collect that you can turn it as sampling frame then part c which was last part of this question says that a research that of 200 household was carried out on the preferred beverage for breakfast among tea, coffee, cocoa. For so the research yield the following functions. 70 household preferred tea. 72 households preferred coffee. 65 households preferred cocoa. 30 household preferred both tea and coffee. And 20 households preferred for tea and cocoa, 35 households preferred for coffee and cocoa. And then lastly, 10 households preferred all the three beverage. Required Roman 1. Present above information in form of a Venn diagram. Then determine the number of households who preferred only one beverage. Roman 3 will determine the number of households who prefer more than one. And then lastly, Roman 4 calculate the number of households that they prefer at least at least one beverage. And let's start by presenting this information in a Venn diagram. This is how a Venn diagram looks like. And go three zeros. And then we have to do this particular diagram in the square. Now this one is going to represent T. This one will be representing households who took coffee. Then this one is taking for cocoa. Then here we can write how many households were they? They were 200. 200 households. Now let's start uh, pressing the questions. I'm told that uh, 70 households prefer tea. I'm going to put 70 here. Yeah. Then 72 preferred coffee. And 72 there. Then we are told that uh, 65. 65 preferred cocoa then that household preferred tea and coffee let's start with those who preferred all the three beverage we had 10 households this one we are putting 10 households here 
then households preferred all the three beverage. Then we are told that that household preferred tea and coffee. Now, if 10 preferred all the three, then 30, meaning we are going to take 30 minus 10, we have 20. Only 20 preferred tea and coffee. Only took tea and coffee. Then we have 20 households preferred tea and cocoa. Tea and cocoa. See, we had uh, 20. We do the same. 20 minus 10. We are having 10. We put 10 at this point. Then 35 households uh, preferred both coffee and cocoa. Coffee and cocoa. That's 35, we can also do the same, 35 minus 10, we are having 25, at this point 25. Now I'm going to name this one, with be my, for example, my A, B, and C. We want to determine those who took tea alone, and also those who, did, who took coffee and cocoa alone. This is how we are going to establish, and for example, to get a figure for A, we are going to say that 70 minus, in bracket, I'm taking 20 plus 10 plus 10. We have here 20 plus 10 plus 10. We have uh, that is 70 minus, that is 40. We are getting 30. Now here, for those only took T, we get the figures, they were 30 households. What about coffee, which I said it is my B. My B is going to be 72 minus into bracket. We are having 20 plus 10 plus 25. This is 20. I'm talking of one to get in this particular circle. 20 plus 10 plus 25 of 72 minus. This is 30 plus that is 55. 72 minus 55, I guess you get 17. Here yeah, we are going to say that those who only took coffee alone, they were 17 households. Then lastly, those who consumed a cocoa, we have 65, that is what C is equal to 65 minus, minus 10, if this has been the bracket. 10 plus 10 plus 25 that is 65 minus 45 you are getting 20 now those only consumed coca alone you are 20 households now let's address the questions determine the number of households who preferred only one beverage two months can write here those who preferred only tea, we have coffee, and then lastly, cocoa. Those who only took tea, we had 30, the answer there is 30 households. Those who only consumed coffee, coffee, we say that, that they were 17 households. And those only who took cocoa, cocoa we have gotten that they were 20, 20 households. And then Roman 3, determine the number of households who preferred more than one beverage. Households who preferred more than one beverage. Now we are going to have, this is 20, they took a tea and coffee, that is 20 plus 10 to go the 3 beverage, 25, they took coffee and cocoa, plus 10 took tea and cocoa, what you get this plus this one is 30, plus this one is 55, that is 65 households. And then part Roman 4, calculate the number of households that preferred at least 
one temperature. Calculate the number of households that are preferred against one. Now it means they consumed one, it is one and more. Now we are going to say that uh, we have 30. Those are who do only tea. We add 20, those two tea and coffee at 17 plus 10 preferred at 3, 25 to coffee and cocoa. Last 20 who took a coke alone, and then you have 10. That is who took tea and coke, or what you get with the total. This plus this is 50 plus 17, that's 67 plus 10, that is 77 plus 25. 77, that's a 77 plus. 25 plus 30 that is this plus this one is 55 977 plus 55 we get uh, that is 12 we carry one this plus this thirty so it becomes 132 132 households preferred 132 households preferred at least one if you do that, you get yourself 20 marks for question number one of April 2023. 20,